In today's video, we're going to plant some bare root strawberries. We're going to plant some in the ground, in containers, and also in this hydroponic system right behind me. So last Wednesday, I received a shipment of 175 strawberry plants, which I planted outside at my home. But then, out of curiosity, I went to a local box store and purchased a set that they had there of bare root plants. Now, my concern with these plants was that they were located directly under their heater. Bare root plants are supposed to be kept cool and dark. They did come in a little package that was dark, but it was not cool where they were being stored. Let's go see what they look like. So this is the package I purchased. These are Ozark Beauty. You got a ton of them for $3.98. So they're really reasonably priced. That's about 40 cents a plant, which is really inexpensive. My plants were under a dollar as well. They were $144, including shipping and all the plants. So it's under a dollar a piece, but they weren't 40 cents a piece. <laughs> That's a lot cheaper. However, this was the only variety available. I could only get Ozark Beauty. So by ordering from a nursery, there was a lot more choice of varieties for me than just Ozark Beauty. Let's see what these guys look like. So ideally, bare root plants don't have any green on them because when they have green, that means they're out of dormancy. Oh, I don't see anything. Oh, wow, that's it. This bundle of 10 is um, not much to be said for it at this point. I'm, I'm a little concerned they won't do anything. I don't even see where the crown is. It must be, oh, here it is up here. So these are either still dormant or completely dead. And my guess is they might be completely dead. Maybe not, it might be okay. So it's slightly cool and it, they're, they're not completely dried out yet. The bag has no condensation, so it's not a lot of moisture in there. Well, this is what they look like. All right. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to soak these roots to get them hydrated. And then I'm going to put a couple of them in the tower. We'll see how they do in the tower. So the plants that I got at home, I did not soak. I just planted them. For one thing, our ground is very, very wet. So I wasn't concerned about them not getting rehydrated once I planted them. Typically, you'll want to soak the roots for just a little bit so they can get rehydrated and break their dormancy and get ready to grow. Well, this one's a little guy. Let's hope he makes it. Now, you don't have to have the crowns underneath the water, but it won't be the end of the world if they are under the water. All right, these have soaked for a bit now. So I'm gonna take one with smaller roots and go put it into the tower. And we'll see how that works out. I guess, well, this one is the winner. So we're gonna put that little guy in the tower. Put these roots in here. So there we have it. So I did, I did go ahead and pull some of the roots through the bottom, but not actually a lot. And I'm just gonna hope the plant deals with it on its own. It's, it's probably not fair of me to the plant, but that's what we're doing. Then I'm going to, oh well, look at that dirt falling down. I'm gonna have to clean this up. Then I'm just gonna place it in here. And I just gotta get all the roots in there and let it see what happens. Hopefully it'll be green in a couple days. Okay, I'm gonna plant three of them in a gallon water jug. I used this one last year and I'm gonna use it again for the strawberry. All right, when planting these crowns, the main thing is the crown needs to be above the soil and the roots down below the soil. If, if it's too low down, the crown can rot and if it's too high up, then the roots are exposed. So let me plant this thing and then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, I couldn't plant this one-handed. So as you can see, these are all the roots. I'm gonna to need to cover the 
roots and leave that part up ahead, up above the soil line. So I'm gonna finish, go ahead and then plant in this guy. Okay, so right down here are the roots and this is where the crown starts. So I do wanna cover up just the very top base of the roots. And then I've put a dry layer of potting soil on top to discourage the fungus gnats from laying in it. And then my, my jug has holes in the bottom, so I'll water from the bottom. I'll just place this in a tub of water too, to water it. This little fellow is getting placed in this nice sunny spot so that it'll warm up and think it's spring and start to turn green. That is assuming it's actually still alive. In a couple days, we'll know. Now on this one, Right there, there is a little shoot that's starting. So I think this one at least is alive. So the packet said there's 10 plants, but there was only nine in there. So that's okay, because I was gonna do three in the hydro tower, three in containers, and three in soil. I was gonna do four in soil, but we have three in soil, so that works out just fine. All right, I'm going to plant these last three in my raised garden bed. And since these are ever-bearing strawberries, they're not going to have as many runners as if they were the June bears. The June bears will put out a lot of runners. You're gonna to wanna to space those 18 to 24 inches apart and then you can fill in with the little babies as they produce the runners. The day neutral and the ever-bearing berries, they do not have as many runners. So I'm just trying to position these. Ideally, about a foot apart, but I'm, I'm doing these a little close. Um, and they'll, they'll be okay. This is really good soil in here. So I don't think they're gonna be fighting for nutrients or anything. Now they are hard to see because they look just like the dirt and I'm honestly not convinced they're going to, to do anything. But some of the other ones that I got from the nursery like this is one that I just planted last Wednesday that I got from a nursery and it's not looking too chipper either. It may or not, may not come. This one on the other hand is already having some green. This one as well. So there's three main types of strawberries. There's the June bears, which bear a big crop in the spring, hence the name June bears. And then there's also Ever bearing strawberries and they typically give you like a couple of harvests like springtime early summer and fall time and then there's also the day neutral berries and those give you about the same harvest as an ever bearing strawberry however they produce throughout the entire season so you get a little bit all along the way as opposed to a couple bigger harvests Let's go take a look at the strawberries that I got from the nursery that I planted. They're actually doing really well. Um, I have some that I potted indoors, about six containers of them, and then the rest I put in beds. So there's 175 of them all together. So most of them are out in our garden beds. It's been one week and two days since I took the bare-rooted plants that I got and put them inside. Now inside we do have a grow light above and it's nice and warm in here. The strawberries are looking fantastic. Okay, so now that I'm comparing the two, there's definitely a big difference between the indoor plants and the outdoor plants. Big difference. They were all planted on the same day and um, these are toasty warm under a grow light and these are out, it just hailed. So I don't know if you can see the hail, but it just tailed, so they're not toasty warm. Okay, it's time for an update on the strawberries that we got from the big box store. Well, I'll show you what they look like. It's been exactly a week later. I can show you the potted ones and the hydro tower ones. The ones that I planted in my garden bed, I can't even find them. They've just blended in with the dirt. No green anywhere to be seen. It has been one week since I planted these and I'm not seeing much liveliness. There's that one. There's this one. I'm not really seeing. There's this one. I thought that was something there. I thought that was something that doesn't seem to be. Now the ones in the tower look horrible. <laughs> I don't think this is. I maybe should have had something in there 
around the roots, I'm not sure, but they're not looking good at all. So the plants that I got from the garden center should have definitely come out of dormancy and been showing me some green by now, and they didn't. Nice thing is those big box stores are more than willing to give you your money back or exchange when there's a problem. I've already called the store and they said no problem, just come in and exchange them. So that's what I'll do. That's all I've got. So until next time, see ya.